fancy look of my wares. Well met. I'm not sure what to do. Clark means to unveil the sculpture before a select audience. He asked me to extend an invitation to you as well. I will await you at his estate in Vernworth's noble quarter. Do you know how long you'll be? I, I only ask so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. No, there's no need to fret. These things take time, you understand. That's why I did this, and I don't believe for a moment that Lanzo meant what he said to me in the hideout. Twas all... Good to see you, Master. They look sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Pray tell, are you doing here? Do forgive me, but 
Who are you? Patrons, connoisseurs, friends. My humblest thanks for joining me here at the unveiling of my collection's crowning jewel. There is much more I should like to say, but the anticipation is apt to kill me should I stall another moment. Let us gaze upon the sculpture now. <laughs> my word. Would appear I overestimated your ability. How dare you claim my gold for a clumsy attempt such as this? You have shamed me and shall ne'er again know my patronage, Fulvio. Now gather your things and be gone from my sight! I know Clark wasn't pleased, but that was the best I could manage. I shall strive to improve, and perhaps one day he'll think better of me. I swear I'll wring that incompetent sculptor's neck. What a fool I was to place my faith in him. is an item of exceptional rarity. I cannot wait to tell my own master of its existence. Have you heard tell of an ox card travelling the road tonight? Honestly, I follow every regulation to the letter and only travel during the day. Why can't others do the same? There's been much talk on the street of this phantom ox cart that travels after sunset. But I've heard rather enough of it. Our hands are full enough as it is. Follow me! Then, unless you doubt my sense of direction, Follow me. These writings could be of import. Speaking of which, adventuring is toilsome as tis, and yet you do it with a laden pack. I cannot but admire your strength.
You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my specialty. Ah, a material. Useful things, these. It would not be unwelcome for an ally to appear for once. We'll find some rare materials here. Well, well, that's quite a discovery. Oxen are sturdy creatures, aren't they? Such beasts are a fair source of meat, but when rations are lacking. Night time already. I thought it was rather dark. Shall we check our packs and be off? Must we run everywhere? 
You are an impatient one, Arisen. I brought the number that you requested. I'll take it this will be enough. Aye, nicely done. Get in, you lot. Here's your payment. Thank you kindly, sir. Ordinarily, coin like this would take me half a year to earn. And I'll thank you to spend it wisely. Don't go drawing undue attention onto yourself, or that'll be the last you get. An ox cart travelling a night is suspicious enough in its own right, if to have known that I'm carrying pawns across the border. I know. And I'll take care of it, I swear it. Contact me again when you've need of more cargo, won't you? are not worth following me over. Pray let me go. <sighs> Hold, I beg you. I'll tell you what there is to know. I was approached by a battalion merchant I met at the border checkpoint. He offered me a coin in exchange for rounding up pawns. Aye, oh, I know. Here in Vermin, there's nary a deed more abhorrent. But you have to understand. My gambling debts were like to drown me. I needed coin, and I needed it fast. I know not where they've been taken. Pray, believe me. Here, take this. It is a document I got from that merchant. If word of this should reach the palace, I'd no doubt be disciplined. I might even lose my post. I'll give you all the gold I got today. So pray, I beg you, will you let me go? I swear, I'll ne'er do aught like this again. Oh, I suppose it was too much to hope for. It is all over for me now. Many thanks. We'll take it from here, sir. Worry not. He'll receive his due soon enough. Till then. Whence do you hail? What business have you here? I hear the coronation is to be held anon. Good thing, too. I long to see the back of this crooked age of proxies. Of course, the matter of attendance is always a contentious one, particularly concerning the special recommendations. You see, commoners who perform meritorious deeds or who prove their upstanding character may be granted invitations. It beggars belief that lay folk, with nearly a shred of decorum, should be allowed to attend such an august occasion. For instance, if you, by some miracle, were to be recommended, I should thank you to know your place. Beg pardon, sir. But you are the Arisen, are you not? Captain Brandt bade me ask aught of you, if you would hear it. However, is a matter best kept from prying ears. Might we not move? Firstly, pray, take this. Tis a regalia sword, one of the kingdom's treasures. Tis my duty to guard it. 
Yet. I have stolen it from the Masquerade Hall where twas on display. A duplicate now rests in its place. And I must beg you to keep the true artifact hidden. Lest the root generations of Amundian rulers have wielded it. Though not in battle, of course. Tis a ceremonial weapon for use in parades and the like. Yet, Deesa's disdain for tradition has seen the blade suffer. Tis fractured and has lost much of its former luster. Captain Brandt is of a mind to restore it, so that it might serve as a symbol of your authority, Sir Arisen. Indeed, when the time comes for you to announce your ascension, having this sword at your hip would doubtless elevate your standing in the eyes of the people. And I must confess, having watched over the blade for many a year, I've grown rather fond of it. I should be well glad to see it restored to its former splendor by your hand. My hopes for our kingdom and its treasure go with you, Sir Arisen. I bid you... Ah, I dare say it will take a blacksmith of uncommon skill to restore a sword. Oh no you don't. You're not allowed in here. Oh no you don't. You're not allowed in here. Out. Good tidings. How Perhaps you would indulge me in conversation. I do not believe we are acquainted. I pity you. Tell him. Well met. How fare you this fine day? Well, out with it. Is this where you've been all this time? It is rather far from where we agreed to meet up. Do take care not to stray so far next time. You look like you've a lot to contend with, as per usual. I'll not keep you. Still, since you went to the trouble of visiting me here, perhaps you'd like to hear a rumor I heard recently? It came by way of a client, a merchant who owns and operates ox carts. As she would have it, there have been sightings of some sort of phantom ox cart in the dead of night. Strange, isn't it? Phantom or not, I can't imagine what they must be carrying to brave monster-infested roads at night. Apparently, it makes its appearance just after sunset as the sky begins to darken and has a caged wagon in tow. As someone in the same line of business, my client said she's ashamed to know that one of her fellows is involving themselves in illegal dealings. That said, I've not set foot outside the capital in quite some time. It was news to me that passenger ox carts don't travel at night. Well, that's it for the rumor. I suppose you'll be on your way now. 
I've not set foot outside the ca- It was news to me that passenger ox carts don't- What of you? Have you any- It is good to be reunited. You'd best keep your dis- I dare say you don't belong- I don't believe we've met. Time was, you scarce saw any beastrums here in Vernworth, but that's changed in recent years. You'd think that'd be on account of immigration, but not so. See, a child born of at least I've never beheld a human with a beast. If we keep mixing, someday our kingdom will end. I'm quite sure I wasn't dreaming. But ox carts don't run so late a night. Was it a phantom then? I shudder to think. Bugger off. What am I supposed to? Yeah? What is it? I've naught to say to you. Sometimes this is the only place I can find people. And who are you supposed to be? Good tidings to you. Are you the Arisen, perchance? Aye, I thought you might be the one. My husband spoke of you, you see. Tis through him I hear much of the gossip going around town. I suppose you're here to see him. You'll have to come another day, I fear. He's been sent out on a mission, and I can't say when he'll return. Tis a perilous mission at that. 
I've heard he is to fell a Dullahan at the Ildua's resting place. I worry for him. I do hope he'll fare all right. Oh, Sir Ludolf, you say? Aye, we're acquainted. He's been coming around oft of late. As I recall, his visit started just before Gregor was given his new assignment. Why are you asking me about him? Does this have aught to do with my husband? What? No! You mean... Not my Gregor? Sir Arisen, I beg of you. You must save my husband. You will be repaid, I swear it. No amount of gold can compare to his life. Just please... Save him! Oh, thank goodness. Pray, go to him at once. My husband's life is in your hands, sir. Our destination is rather distant. Perhaps we ought to consider employing the services of an ox guard. Tis the Arisen's choice to make. Though I certainly wouldn't begrudge the chance to put my feet up. Avoid open flames. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. When are you planning to return? Am I to be left by the wayside?
freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. I wouldn't give to lie in that field of stars. You have my life. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. I have a modest talent for spotting materials that can be used to enhance your equipment. I can even mark them on your map. The material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations.
Here we go again. I will be with you in but a moment. I grant you lightning span. One can see far to the distance from here. Perhaps we might take a moment to savor the scene. I quite agree. compares to the thrill of victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable.
best of order. I'll gather this. It might be of use. To the chest. I shall take a look inside. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the worm, as they say. If we mastered that attack, we would be invincible. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my specialty. There's a ladder here. After you, Arisen. So, Look there. You ought not to go charging on the load. Don't be such a worry, Lord. I don't want to you. My curative magics are at your disposal. 
Resting when and where you can is the secret to weathering a long journey. Might you consider lightening? Hang in there, Master! I'm coming to assist!
Well, indeed, but one we surpassed with skill. My thanks, sir. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Must finding these be so difficult? A splendid discovery. Ah, you'll have to excuse me. I have a job to attend to. You've my gratitude. Just remembered. See, I hadn't thought I'd return alive, but I didn't want to worry my wife when I departed. So I took a letter with me just in case, and when the tide of battle threatened to overwhelm us, I sent a runner to bear it to my wife, mere moments before your arrival. It would be an awkward thing for her to read my final farewell, only for me to arrive on the morrow fit as a fiddle. Though I dare say she'd forgive me. Oh, it will be a blessing enough to see her again. I can ask for no more than that. Right, I'd best be off, if I'm to make it home before that letter arrives. Oh, and if I've not said it yet, thank you, sir. I'm well and truly in your debt. My thanks. Might you be looking to enlist? My thanks.
My thanks, sir. My thanks. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. I thank you. What did you do to provoke it? It was most unwise. <laughs> I, uh, forgive me, I could not help but laugh. the first to notice we've all got different vocations. generally used as a material. A short jaunt can quickly become a journey, till before you know it, you're bruised up and all out of curatives. Ah, yes. That sounds familiar.
We've arrived well enough. Where to next? Seems there are wolves on the prowl. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Sir Arisen, I cannot thank you enough for what you've done for us. I... You've my humblest gratitude, sir. If not for you, I'd ne'er have made it home. Still, I doubt this is the last we'll be hearing from Sir Ludolf. He's not like to admit defeat after only one attempt. Where will I be sent next, I wonder? Have you not heard, my love? Sir Ludolf has fallen deathly ill. He has? Aye, he was poisoned. From the tell of it, it was concealed in a gift. A bottle of wine or some such. But I suppose it's not so surprising. A dastardly man like that must have had no shortage of enemies. True enough. I'm sure no few held a grudge against him for all he's done. Indeed. Perhaps one might call this his just desserts. <laughs> My thanks. You've my thanks. Right, just follow me. Do try to keep me in your sights, Master. I shan't lead you astray. I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace discussing a curious rumor. Oh, did it pertain to the Queen Regent and an important personage, perchance? Indeed. Some suppose there is more to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is publicly known. things to do, if you don't mind.
Those garments had a marked effect. Albert set off. In short, you've done this city a. You need a permit. Mind, rumor has it that it's easier for beastrons to obtain them. There's no escaping it now. Oh, Selena, how I miss you. I've no time for pointless chatter. Time for pointless chatter. If you see all untoward, pray inform me. I have not much to offer you, sir, I fear. Was you scarce saw any beastrums here in Vanworth? You think that'd be on a at least I've ne'er beheld a human with a. Be I do not believe you have a right. Know your place. And who are you supposed to be? I tell you, those oxcart merchants have got no interest in following regulations. It's a disgrace it is. All merchant oxcarts are forbidden from traveling after dark. Yet we've had multiple eyewitness accounts of an oxcart carrying freight a night. People are calling it the Phantom Oxcart. Why people have to go stirring things up is beyond my ken. 
to say. Have you... Some call it the Phantom Ox Cart. I very much doubt there's aught spectral about it. Honestly, I follow every regulation to the letter. And for purity of trust, security... There's a ladder here. After you, Arisen. Look as long as you please. The 